Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to check an oil filter. Okay, so every oil change you want to be able to cut an oil filter open. Just make sure there's not any metal that the engine is producing. If that's happening, then of course you got some bigger problems than just a regular oil change. So um, could be the engine letting you know that there's some uh, there's some issues going on that you need to kind of address. So uh, we've got this cool little oil filter. Uh, cutting wrench thing here so I always put my oil filter in a vise I'm going to put this tool over it it's pretty much just like a pipe cutter um, and you're just going to kind of go around and it'll cut it and once you get it kind of cut open then always make sure that you have plenty of towels or paper towels around okay because this thing is always I'll let this thing sit upside down for about an hour I just said that I ran the engine did a quick flight popped the cowling drained all the oil out everything is really hot and so all this oil should have drained out no problem okay so you can see kind of how messy it is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this thing sit a little bit we're going to and then I'm going to show you kind of what you're looking for uh, with this oil filter Okay guys, been letting this thing uh, sit a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little box blade knife. you got to be kind of careful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting from here. Kind of work your way all the way to the center. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of keep cutting all the way around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this on both sides. And then I'm going to be able to pull this filter element completely out of here and then I mean because you can get a pretty good look just kind of looking through here uh, at it but to get the best look just make sure I mean to me if you got some serious problems you're gonna be able to open this thing up and go ooh man there's a lot of metal I can already see it see it uh, but just to be extra sure we're just gonna cut this filter all the way out and then you can get a bunch of paper towels and really kind of wind it out and look in detail to see, you know, is your engine producing any type of metal? Uh, and also your mechanic uh, can also kind of take a look. Alright, so I got to cut all the way around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right here. Let's see if that was enough. Yep, there we go. Right there. All right. If you can try to pull it out of here without slinging stuff everywhere. Because if there is any metal, you don't want to sling out of there. Of course, it does have oil on it so it should there we go. almost there so you know nobody ever really does this with vehicles I'm not sure why I guess it doesn't really matter if your engines making metal you're probably just going to run until it almost gives out anyway okay there we go all right so you can see what that kind of looks like the oil is going to flow in here okay it's going to go through your filter and then pass back out okay so all you're going to do is you're just going to unwind this and you just start at the end you're going to be kind of going through it checking for any kind of metal flakes now if your engine's making some metal you're going to know it if it's an issue if there's like a little speck here or there that's normal i mean the engine's running it's gonna look like little pieces of glitter just every now and then and that's not a big deal but i've opened up our old bonanza engine one time it didn't have an oil filter it had an oil screen and uh i opened that up and it was just a big ball of metal shavings and instantly i knew ooh man we got some issue and you know there's different types of metal in the airplane it could be aluminum it could be uh, brass it could be steel 
you know. So all this looks really good. And it gives everybody a good sigh of relief, even on a new engine that, you know, engine's not producing metal, it's running good. Everything looks good here. Uh, so we should be able to put the new oil filter on, fill it up full of oil, and be good to go. But anyway, that's uh, pretty much what you're doing when you cut open a filter and uh, what you're looking for. So appreciate it. See you.